I can't, I can't, it's too much. It's just too much. Merle, <laughs> in my understanding and research and preparation to play Marlene, had made sure that she knew as much as her non biology scientist mind could understand of the science. She is rigorously questioning and pushing back on this doctor's technology and science, that mm. there has to be some other way. There has to be another way. And only after exhaustive time and understanding and work and explanation and testing has she come to the realization that this is the only way. And that realization, when she sees that come over Joel, I do get it. I have been in the exact place of denial that you are right now. And I can confidently stand in front of you and say, I have loved her longer and more. And this is still the right choice. Oh God, I can't, I can't, it's too much. It's just too much. How long till she's torn apart by infected? In this moment, she's in a negotiation. Any way that she can make him pause and consider or think of it from a different point of view that, okay, let me let me play to your love of Ellie in this moment. Well, because you're you're not you're clearly not gonna listen to me. Okay, let's let's talk about what she would do. So what would she decide? Because I think she'd want to do what's right. Ellie is the kind of girl from you know my understanding is that she would want to do what's right she would want her life to have a big purpose a big moment of meaning and you know it and joel you know you know this about her so so stop for a second get out of yourself because it's you're talking about you're caring about the child you're caring about ellie so care about what she cares about too we can still find a way she is unrelenting in her sense of purpose Yes, she would follow Joel to the ends of the earth if he had Ellie in his arms. And there is a world in which uh, a better outcome could have been reached, a better understanding. And yet this, this quality of hers ends up being her demise. Um, or is it? I don't know.